Hello, this is Talamir, and welcome to another repair video. In this video, we are going to be looking at a PlayStation 5. I'd hold it up for you guys, but it's uh, one of the thick boys. Here's the creature right here, needing an HDMI port. So that's what I've been told by the customer. Let's take a look at that HDMI port. What do we see? Yeah, that needs an HDMI port. <laughs> it's pretty mashed. So I'm not going to go and show how to get into this thing. It's pretty straightforward, actually. The panels come off pretty easily. You just about pull them off. Like, there's no screws or anything holding them in place. Once in there, you just got some screws you got to take out. Now, that's something that I do highly recommend doing, is that you make sure you put your screws in the correct order as you place them. Now, the reason for that is because there's screws in it that are of different lengths. And if you put them in the wrong way, you will have problems. So, let's get into this thing. Well, it's been a while since I've worked on a PlayStation 5. These panels are a lot harder to get off than I remember. How do you get them off? There, there we go. Ooh, it smells like dryer bounce cloth things. What do you call them? It is, it is strong smelling. I'm gonna have an allergic reaction to this. So remembering how to do this, simply a matter of pulling up on the corner that has these little bumps, and then you just push down. That was far easier than I made it out to seem it to be. Uh, little fluff bunnies, get those to the side. Kind of tempted to take the back into it on the spot. While I'm in, I've gotten the, the first panel off. Noting the order of those screws is very important. As you can see, they are of all different sizes, which is really annoying. Why is that screw off? They really want to roll around. Nevertheless, going into here, oh, we got this little guy down here. I think that goes right here. It's not stuck down or anything, so I'm going to put it to the side. And uh, you'll notice these. There, there's lots and lots of screws. There's a ton of them, in fact. And as far as I can remember, they are all the exact same size. And it doesn't mean that you don't need to go and put them in a particular order. It does help to have them in an order that you can remember. The other thing you got to remember is putting in certain cables back into their, their correct spots. Like making sure that this right here, this is for the front light, is in the right spot. As well as this cable in the right spot. You don't really need to take it out anyways. And also that you have this antenna cable also in the right spot when you're putting this all back together. So just keep that in mind because otherwise you may find that you end up pinching that cable and you really don't want that. So there's that. I'm going to start getting those screws out. Well, there is a significant dry spot on that processor. Holy crud. Now I wish I had a little bit of liquid metal that I could just suck this up. But I do not. So I'm going to have to work with it as it is. Definitely want to get my vacuum in and get this good, give this a little bit of a cleaning. Super dusty. Oh, oh. now we're at this point. I can go ahead and get that, that, that HDMI port off. We'll be, we'll be good to go. You just look at how dry that, look at that. One heck of a dry spot. Woo. I failed to show it. But if you look on the back here, you see there's pads right there on the back of those two USB ports. Well, the same as with the HDMI port. It had one on the back there. I just removed it. I don't want to burn it. So that's why it's been removed in advance. So I'm pretty much ready to go and get started on this. So what I prefer to do is to let gravity take over. And I flip it over and I heat from the top on the flat side and let the HDMI port just simply fall right out. So that's what I'm going to do. So we got the vent on. Now there's some things I gotta I gotta note here. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. See this right here? Um, 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 I need something to point with. That's a capacitor. If it gets knocked off, it's not the biggest deal in the world. But you want to be careful with that little guy. And you got some components right there as well. This is for when we're putting it back on. There is also some components on the other side as well. So you can see there is some little components right there. And we gotta be careful with those. Let's put it down there for now, nice and stable. I'm gonna get the heat gun up and running. I'm gonna put it at 480 degrees Celsius at, I don't know, I'm gonna try to get this off as quickly as possible. Maybe 75, 
speed. With a larger nozzle, I'm thinking maybe a larger nozzle. Now you notice that I'm like I'm heating the whole board right now. I'm just gonna do that first. Get some heat in the board, and then I'm gonna focus in on just the charge port. You don't want to pull on the charge port. I will check it every once in a while, but if you pull on them and it's not ready, it's uh, <laughs> it's not a good thing. You don't you don't want to pull on it when it's not ready because you'll just just tear traces. I can just give it a little bash like this. Just poke it. There we have it. That's out. Okay, how are we looking? No, about you guys, but it looks fine to me. We gotta get all that old solder off. So lots of flux. I'm gonna clean this up. There is the HDMI port. And how are we doing? I did tear a, 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 a pad. Okay, it's not a big deal. We got the um, the video right there. It's gonna be really easy to deal with. I don't know how that ended up tearing though. It was a very clean pole. Everything else feels fine. I might be wrong about that one, but it does feel indented in comparison to the other ones. We'll see, because we're going to be applying a little bit of solder, some leaded solder. And we're going to see whether or not it picks that up cleanly. I'm going to put in a little bit more heat. Let's get this warm up again. Lots of flux. What I got here is chip quick, but I got to say, it's, it's old stuff and and uh, the plunger I have isn't proper. <laughs> it's quite annoying to deal with. Get that tip clean. Let's throw on some, some leaded solder. Maybe I'm wrong. It, it, it might actually be there. Interesting. Okay. I don't think the board is hot enough anymore. I'm going to heat this up again. Of all the things that I find most annoying, it's dealing with these these anchor point holes. Trying to get the solder out of them afterwards can be quite annoying. I just realized my heat on my my soldering iron isn't high enough right now. I need to set it to at least 450. Such a thick board like this. There we go. See that little capacitor there? Really want to be careful with that. So it looks like I didn't tear any pads. That's really nice to see. <laughs> Let's get it all off. I'd like to put a little, also a bit more heat into the board. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Going after those, those holes first. I've got two problems going here. The first issue is that my soldering iron tip is not big enough. Too, there isn't enough heat in the board so the wick is just sticking to the board right now <laughs> I can't seem to get the rest of that solder out either that's annoying that went through that just that went beautifully I'm gonna fill in those holes again it's the only thing I can think of doing right now I'm gonna try this again the other side works so wonderfully Let's move on to the pads. You gotta be careful with them because they are small and they are thin and you do not want to tear one because that will make more work for you. So don't push hard. Especially careful around that little guy right there. Wow, that cleaned up nice. Let's get this clean. So the easiest way to get this stuff off is to heat the board back up just to get the, uh, the flux off the board. Okay, uh, I'm going to clean up the rest of this with a little bit of alcohol. Next step, we're going to go and put some new solder on there. I'm wanting to heat the board up first. Lots of solder on the tip. A little bit of flux. We're going to fill those holes in with lots and lots and lots 
of, of, of solder as well. So let's get this going. If we have any bridges, I'll just clean that up in a bit. I have found that the, the, the 6535 stuff is nice, it is good, but I have so much difficulties working with it with thicker boards. Yeah, I'm, good about I'm switching to my 6040. Okay, I think I'm ready for the port drop. Now something that I found that works quite well and I've seen other YouTubers do the same thing is to tin the port beforehand. I've done this both ways. I've done this both with uh, tinning the port and I've done it without. And I find that both have their merits. Um, in this occasion, I do find that I prefer tinning the port. You gotta put a little bit of flux on it I think I'm just a slight bit too zoomed in. You just got to put a little bit of flux on the port. And then uh, you just go and spread over the solder in one go. I think I got a bit too much on there. And that'll do it. I've got the temperature on my soldering iron down to one fifth, uh, 450, which eh, it's probably way too much. But uh, I'm going to go ahead with it anyways. Let's put a little tiny bit of solder on the tip. And don't worry about bridges just yet. We can get rid of those bridges in a bit. There we go. We got the initial bit done. Now let's get rid of those bridges. And if you can't get it off, you can just take the wick and get it as well. Because I'm less confident right here, I am touching up on every single pin. I say less confident in the sense that I'm still not an expert, but an intermediate. So I know what I'm doing, but I'm not, I haven't done these like enough, often enough to know exactly what to expect or what to look for. So the more often you do these, just like with anything, the more used to used to it you are of seeing certain things and what they are to look like and what you're expecting because I don't know what that looks like I'm being more cautious okay I think that's good I have a little bit of a brush and some alcohol all right let's get some flux on there now you don't need an absolute ton for this just putting a little bit Oh, wait a minute. I want to heat this board up first. That's something I really want to do before I do anything else. And the reason why you want to heat up the board first is because, oh, it can be a real pain. If you've got it, uh, trying to get it up to temperature and you've already got the port prepped and ready, it just takes a lot longer and it's just a lot more of a pain. So I'm going to decrease the temperature to 450 now. You can heat from the bottom or the top at this point, but when you're ready, you're going to switch to the bottom. Once uh, it's come up to temperature, you don't need it on there very long. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. I'm gonna try. That's not bad. I just remembered I gotta put on the vent. Looking for those little guys to go shiny. Turn into little mirrors. The ones on the right have already gone mirror-like just noticed that that one could use a little bit more okay it's pretty much up to temperature now I'm gonna add in a little bit more flux and I'm gonna get ready to uh, put the, the port on and now with the port I'm holding it with some tweezers you can can't see right there tweezers so that I can aim this well I think I'm ready I'm switching to the bottom. There. Let's get rid of that excess it's here and there. And I want to see whether or not that capacitor is still in place. 
So let's get this underneath the microscope again. This is not the microscope, this is actually a camera. I'll get my tweezers. Let's see if we have anything loose. So first off, do we have any bridges? I don't see any bridges. How about the capacitor there? Looks fine. Let's check to see if we've got anything loose. Perfect. Well, as perfect as I can make it. <laughs> Let's test this thing. part of the dry spot. Now it's relatively easy to clean up. You just gotta squish a little bit of the liquid metal over to that spot. And you're just gonna rub at it with that metal. And you'll get rid of that spot. I'm gonna go over the whole thing. I gotta do the same thing with the back of here as well. I'm gonna rub at that until you get that dry spot going. All right, that should be good. Should be able to put this back into place now. It's a little piece of material. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but I would like to put it back in place. Ah, there it is right there. This goes right here. It's that little spot right there. Now I'm not gonna put the whole thing back together just yet. I'm gonna just put the very basics in. We gotta test this. I'm gonna go and connect this up now. Let's see how this goes. HDMI, power. I have this set to HDMI, but it's not gonna show anything at the moment. It's gonna be trying to connect. Uh, let's connect, press the power button. Come on, turn white. There we have it. What do we have on screen? We have an image. We have a beautiful, beautiful image. Looks like a low resolution image, but we have an image. <laughs> you don't say. I don't have a PS5 controller. I have PS4 controllers. I don't know if that will work with the PS5. I am going to try. I'll just have to see. I think that worked. It did. There we have it guys, it's working. It is doing exactly what it's supposed to be. It's one charge port swapped out. Just gotta go and put the rest of this back together. That's where that went. That little piece that was here that was just sitting there, it, it was it was sitting in there, that little area right there. Eh, well, how important it is, but there we go. Well, that's it for that. We just gotta get these guys in. They just clip in pretty easily, nothing special. You know, you've done a proper job when there is no parts left. What do you guys see? No parts left. All we have is these side panels. There we have it. And I'm going to go and do one more test with this. Nice. All right, final test. Still working very good. Doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. There we have it. That's a job done. So, if you guys like the video, please do leave a like, and if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. We'll see you guys all in another video. Bye.